We already know that we can group a bunch of elements using a div tag. So here we create a div with a class container and we put everything inside. And now we can style this container and everything inside of this div will inherit the classes. Now, let's say I want to group these sentences. So here, let's say I want to group you will become and style this particular text in a different way. So what I can do is I can create a div and I can copy and paste this text inside. Okay, let's see what we get. And we can see that we don't really get what we want because here there is a line break. After that, there is a line break and there's also line break after become. So it kind of seems like we added line breaks because this you will become is located on its own line. And this means that everything inside of the div doesn't mean how long or short it is. So if, even if we remove this, it will still be on its own line. So div is a block element. This means that it takes the entire width. So this element would go from here all the way to this side and we'll not be able to put anything after it. So in this case, if we want to just group text, but we don't want it to be on a separate line, we can use the span tag. The span tag is just like div. It does not have any meaning. It is only used to group elements, but it behaves differently. It does not put the content on a new line. So here we can just press F2 and we can write span, hit enter. And now we can see that everything keeps working in the same way that we intended, but now we can also style it. So for this span, we can give a class and let's call it uh, marked. And here we can style it. So dot marked. And let's say I wanted to give color uh, purple. And now you can see that we actually got what we want. So we have this text and if we make the window larger, it will fill the space. But we have also grouped these elements and now we can style them using the parent element. This behavior where this grouping does not put the content on a new line is called inline versus the div, which is called a block. 